Hi, in this video, we will see how we can develop or write some Python script which can ping some server or host. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to use Visual Studio Code and Python programming language all together. Suppose we want to ping some website like google.com. So if we ping that google.com basically we are pinging some server okay so this is a domain right we can call it host so we can define a string like host equal then the string is www.google.com we can actually escape this part we don't need uh, let's uh, make it simple okay so this is the host right or server whatever you are calling and uh, that's fine so we want to ping this thing and we want to develop on python script which can uh, ping this server okay so basically what we will do, we will create a function uh, uh, for this purpose, suppose the function name is like ping, for example, okay, and in Python each function is starts with definition keyword, def, so definition ping, and here inside this we have to pass some parameters, suppose we want to ping this host, okay, so we can pass this parameter like host, and then after that we have to put a colon. This is the method definition and after that we have to uh, implement the method okay so to implement the method we can use uh, some sub process package okay so let's do one thing let's put a pass so that there will be no error okay so to uh, ping this thing we can actually implement different ways so one of the approaches to use the sub process package and there is os package uh, but you are free to use any of them but in this tutorial i will use sub process okay so to use the sub process thing uh, we have to import that module or package so in python we can import that module or python by typing that uh, expression like import and then after that we have to type the name of the package so the name of the package sub process okay so this is a sub process so it is importing the sub process so once the sub process is done then we can use the methods of sub processes sub process this package okay in the sub process uh, package or module we have lots of methods so based on our requirement we'll use this thing so our target is to ping the host right uh, to ping some server something like that okay so let's do one thing so we can call sub process then dot then call there is a method is called call okay and in call basically there are lots of argument we can pass so here we are uh, we have to uh, develop our own command so that it can uh, call the sub process okay so here we can actually uh, write on parameter something like uh, command okay something common we are defining on variable basically we need to define this variable so we can define this variable something like this this is a command equal to uh, then we can use on array list and inside it we can actually type ping because we want to ping this thing so ping uh, this dot com something like that okay so we'll see the whole command very soon so then comma so first argument is the p and then we can uh, use the operating system like whether it is windows or mac based on that we can actually uh, use uh, minus like uh, minus c or minus n okay so anything is fine uh, so we'll actually um, replace this part very soon so let's uh, let's keep it like that okay so this c will be a small c and then after that uh, we can actually uh, use how many packets like you know, select one packet on time basically it will be only once and then after that we have to mention the host name basically uh, this is the host right so i'm typing host okay so uh, this is the line which is actually building the command and after that we can call this thing okay so after calling basically we can return this thing uh, r a t u r n so we are returning uh, this thing okay so if we run uh, these things basically we'll get something so let's try uh, to run uh, and check what it is doing so before that we need to basically call this thing otherwise we cannot run so we can call this thing by typing the command ping then uh, we have to call the host okay and finally the whole thing we have to uh, print okay so we can print uh, we can actually print the whole thing by writing the pin method uh, print method print and then inside it we can actually pass this as argument okay so uh, this process uh, will run actually and this is actually right now uh, the part which i did this is for mac operating system um, or linux operating system but for windows i will cover very shortly so just right click it and check whether it is working properly or not so right click and choose run python file in terminal and every if everything is okay uh, then we'll get like this type of thing on packets transmitted 
one packet received okay zero percent packet loss that means it's working fine right okay now let's come so here i told you that uh, this is for linux or mac operating system okay so basically uh, we have to actually configure this part dynamically if it is for windows then it is it will uh, work based on the windows operating system if it is mac then it will work based on uh, mac operating system okay so what we have to do uh, we have to identify whether the operating system is windows or mac so to identify uh, the operating system uh, we have all, uh, one package or module it is called platform package package so basically we need to import that package so we can import import and then we have to uh, uh, type the package name so the package name is platform okay so uh, this is the package basically uh, we'll use to understand what type of operating system it is okay so then we can actually uh, type one command like i mean we can define one variable like parameter like parameter equal to okay and then uh, for windows basically we have to use um, minus n okay so here n and then if we can actually uh, configure it in shortcut if platform dot then system there is a method system it will identify which operating system and after that we have to use lower basically we can you um, check whether the operating system is equal to windows or not okay so here i am typing uh, windows windows uh, this thing uh, so if the uh, operating system is windows then it will be minus n otherwise uh, we have to define uh, by typing this else equal to basically we can remove this else we can make it minus c minus c and here we can actually replace the whole thing with param okay so what it is doing basically uh, now it is dynamic right it doesn't matter whether this windows operating system or uh, linux operating system it doesn't matter okay based on the uh, output i mean based on this platform or system that lower it will define whether it is windows or not if it is windows then it will configure minus n and otherwise it will confirm minus c okay and it will replace here okay so uh, that's all now let's run it and check whether it is working properly or not so i'm going to right click and then i'm choosing run python file in terminal so once i choose it i see that it is working fine right so here we are seeing that zero percent packet loss okay now let's delete it and uh, do a little modification so till now uh, we actually checked on the one so if we want to put uh, five times to check whether it is working properly or not we can actually uh, type five okay you can choose what, uh, how many times you want to do you can ch choose here basically okay right click and run python file in terminal okay so if everything is okay then it is uh, it will try to ping one two three four five times one two three four five yes I is trying to ping, uh, ping like five times so you can actually uh, define how many times you want to do uh, you can define uh, in the program right so i'm going to delete this thing here here you can actually configure so in this way we can basically actually ping the servers in python uh, hopefully uh, it is it will be very useful for you and if you feel this video is useful please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel thank you for watching the video see you on the next video